Hi. We're going to be looking at how to put a pie chart together. Um, pie charts are quite easy to read. They're a bit more difficult to put together if you've got to draw it from scratch. So we're going to have a look at that. Um, again, I've seen a couple of exams where, although this is in the curriculum, they haven't actually asked you to draw one, but it's there, so eventually it will be in an exam somewhere. So we need to cover it. <coughs> so you'll get a table of some sort. This is people's favorite biscuits. We've got bourbon, we've got custard cream, rich tea, malted milk, chocolate chip cookies. I like all that. And how many people said that that was their favourite? So 23 bourbon, 17 custard cream, 8 people said rich tea was their favourite, 6 said malted milk, and 6 said chocolate chip cookies. <coughs> the first thing you have to do is add these number of people up. And that comes to 60. Okay. What this doesn't show you is the next step. The next step is to find out how many degrees that will represent per person. So, if you're lucky, the circle for the pie chart will already be drawn for you with this line here already put in. If not, that's what you've got to do. Draw a circle, use your compass, and put this line in from the centre, straight line with a ruler, up to the outside edge. That's the first line of the first segment of your pie chart. So, you've added up all the people, 60. There are 360 degrees in a circle. 360 degrees in a circle. So, you divide that 360 by the total number of people, which is 60. And that will give you six. That six is six degrees per person. Not per group, per person. Because you added them all up. 60 people divided into 360, six degrees per person. Then you've got to multiply all of these by six. So we've got 36, 36, 48, no idea and no idea. So, get the trusty calculator out, 23 times six is 138. And 17 times 6 is 102. Degrees. Okay, so we've got our number of people, 60. We've got our degrees. But what we haven't checked, and we need to, is that all this adds up to the 360 we started with. If it doesn't, we've done something wrong. So, 138 plus 102 plus 48 plus 36 plus 36 equals 360. So we're all right. We can put the 360 in. So if a maths tutor can check 
with a calculator, so can you. Don't leave it to chance that you've got it right the first time. Add them up and check. 360. So we've done the sum. All we've got to do now is draw. I say all we've got to do now is draw these different sections. So this line is already put in for you. If it isn't, you put it in first. There's no measuring. It's from the center, straight line, straight the way up to the outside edge. Remember your protractor, the target in the middle at the bottom goes on the center line at the bottom. The straight line on the protractor goes on that straight line. And you work out where 300, uh, where 138 degrees is. It's about there. The problem I've got is that I'm using a really thick nib. So it's not going to be as accurate as it would be when you're using a very sharp pencil, which will give you a very narrow, more accurate line. So we've got the 13080, and we know that's bourbon, so we can put that in. Then we do exactly the same again on this straight line. Notice how I'm holding the protractor. You can turn the paper around if you prefer. I can't turn the board around, unfortunately. So I've got to do it upside down. So now we're looking at 102. Remember, you're doing all this with a ruler, unlike me. Buster Creams. Forty-eight. Excuse my back a minute. Something like that. That's rich tea. Thirty-six. That there. And then that one should also be 36. Now this is an important lesson. First things first, if your pencil isn't sharp and makes a nice narrow line, you're not going to be accurate. The size of this makes this, that's probably about two degrees thickness. Yeah. 
So I'm out. I'm going to be out two degrees on each one of these for a start. So make sure your pencil is sharp. If it isn't, and you haven't got, been given a sharpener in your exam, ask the invigilator for a pencil sharpener. So you can sharpen your pencil to a nice point <coughs> for a narrow line. The second lesson, more important probably, this line from the centre upwards should be perfectly straight. And that one isn't. It's slightly over to the left. So that won't be accurate either. If it's not straight when you draw it, rub it out and do it again. If it's already printed for you and it's done, then it should be straight. If it isn't, there's nothing you can do <clears throat> because it will be printed. You can't rub it out. So when you get to the last one, if it's not accurate, in this case, 36 degrees, they allow you one or two degree out because of that and because of the thickness of the pencil if it's not sharp enough. They'll allow you one or two degree tolerance. If yours is more than two degrees out, the first thing you want to do is check all your angles are correct and that these lines are nice and sharp and thin. If not, you can rub them out and start again. If it's still not accurate, check this line. If for some reason when it was printed that line isn't straight, just like this one, this one's going over to the left slightly, but it's a couple of degrees, so it's quite away. If it's not straight, put a note in your answer. If you're more than two degrees out on that last section, remember they'll give you one or two degree tolerance. But if it's three degrees or more, and that's not straight, put a note in your answer. Pie chart not accurate, in this original line, not perfectly straight. There's nothing you can do if that line isn't straight. So tell them you know why it's not accurate. It's because of the printing or it's because of whoever put that line in or whatever. Just put a little explanation note if you know why. If it's one to two degrees out, you don't need to do anything. Just give your answer and they'll allow that one to two degrees. Anything over that, look for a possible reason. Could be the lines, the thickness of them, could be you've measured your angles wrong. Remember, when you look at a protractor, I'll try and bring this up close. When you look at the protractor, the degrees are so close together that if your pencil's blunt, you could be a degree out straight away. So, check your angles. If you're happy with your angles and that you couldn't get that line any narrower if you sharpened your pencil down to a bit of lead, it could be this line here. Under two degrees out, don't worry about it, that's fine. Over two degrees out, check this straight line. Okay? This is, again, this is quite simple once you get the idea. You start off with a table, that could be anything. That could be colour of cars, it could be size of shoe, could be anything. Number of people. 23 people take a size 9. 17 people have got a silver car. Could be anything. That'll give you the number of people per item. Add all those up, it'll give you the total. Divide 360, it's always 360 because it's 360 degrees in a circle. Divide 360 by whatever this total is. 
in this case 60. That will give you the degree per person and that's when you times these. 23 times 6, 17 times 6, 8 times 6, 6 times 6, twice, 6 times 6. Put the totals in there. 623 is 138, 617 is 102, 68 is 48, 66 is 36, 66 is 36. Add all those up just to make sure that they come to 360 degrees. If they don't, something's gone wrong in your multiplication. And I'm going to do a little video when I've finished everything else. I'm going to do a little video about multiplication because people are struggling. Adults are struggling with multiplication. A lot of adults do not know all of their 12 times tables. They don't know 11s, they don't know 9s or 8s or 7s. So we're going to have a quick look in a video at the end that shows you how to multiply without figures and without multiplication. That should help. Anyway, back to this. So when you do all that, you've got your degrees, you start there, you target on your protractor on the centre hole. It's either a hole that you've made with your compass if you've had to draw the circle, or there'll be a dot there for a pre-drawn circle. They will put a dot on there for you at the bottom of that line. So you put your target on the dot right in the middle. The straight line of the protractor on this first straight line and then you just plot your degrees all the way around until you get to the end and then you can label them or label them as you go along like I did and that's it if it's not a case of you've got to draw a pie chart, you're going to have to read one. Reading them are perfectly simple. They'll have percentages or they'll have fractions. They won't have a mixture of both like this, but I'm just showing you that they could be one or the other. And there'll be some question about it, such as make a comment on uh, bourbon biscuits or make a comment on rich tea or something. All you've got to do is read the pie chart, read the information that's already on there. And if you do get a question like that, it's your lucky day, because you won't have to draw it, you'll just have to read it. Okay? Thanks again.